Who is it? Hi, I'm, um... I'm looking for Ryan, Ryan Crosby. Who is it? I'm his mother. My name is Lena. I'm looking for my son, Ryan. Oh, you could use a break. Oh, you read my mind. Thank you. Hmm. I'm working all night. Yeah, well, this commute is killing me. You're the one who insisted on moving out here full time. That's when I thought we were having kids. The drink, babe. You're the best. I'm on my way to this work thing. And I thought of a few more questions. Plus, I thought I'd get you out of the house for a minute. What'd they say about Jack? All work and no play. Plying me with alcohol is not gonna get me to put out. You're an ex porn star. You don't need liquor to put out. I know I don't know you and we just met, but oh, my nerves are shot and I need to decompress. I could use a little decompressing myself. Your son moved out about six months ago. You know where he is? See? If you ever find yourself lucky enough to get a seat at supper, the underground supper club by former sex worker turned chef Ryan Crosby, you may find yourself having multiple orgasms and not only from the food. <laughs> I'm not even sure I know what that means. It means your son did good. Honestly, I didn't think he had it in him. Well, people can surprise you. Like you, for example. Me? What do you want? I don't think he can take any more disappointment from you. I'll do respect. I want to see my son. You don't know anything about me or my life. I may not know you, but I know a thousand like you. You think you got me all figured out, Conchita? That's not a new story. And Conchita's a Mexican name. I'm from Bolivia. That's South America, west of Brazil. You going on a trip? The pork belly kills every night, I swear to God. It's my best fucking dish. It's like, it's just got guts. You're kind of a bit nuts about food, aren't you? Save me. From what? A slow and painful death. <laughs> I can see you really have a passion for it. Imagine. You haven't even tasted my food yet. Really good investigative journalism, by the way. I will. I'm still trying to figure out my angle. When you've done porn as long as I have, you know all your angles. People never really know what to do with me, you know? It's like, ah, what is that? Who is he? Where does he fit in? People always think I'm this like cutthroat, backstabbing, social climbing slacker. 
But you're really just a giant teddy bear. Fuck no. I just take offense to the slacker part. Where do you see yourself? Breaking stories in the Middle East, like the next Ellen. <laughs> Still figuring that out. Will you excuse me for one second? Do your thing. All right, can you handle it? You'll be all right? I'll be fine. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hello, Ryan. Hello. It's so nice to see you. Ryan, this is my brother, Edward. Nice to meet you. Same here. I'm sorry, have we met before? I don't think so. You know, I, I have one of those faces, you know? People confuse me for a younger, handsomer Kevin Spacey all the time. It's ridiculous, it drives me insane. So what brings you here? I'm having a drink with a friend of mine. Well, we were just heading out. We were going for a late dinner at Balthazar. The steak free is amazing. Um, okay, well, don't let me keep you from the steak free. Uh, nice meeting you. Take care. Right. Ryan? Catherine. Ready? Who's that? What? Here you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Here I am. Mm. Ryan, this is my girlfriend. Charlie. Ryan. You two know each other? Ryan and I go way back. Do tell. Ryan was fucking a friend of mine. Your story gets more interesting by the minute. Speaking of interesting, I got an early birthday present. Happy birthday. <sighs> ah. It's gotten to you tonight. You want me to stop? Did I say I want you to stop? Oh, really? I'm a little high. Obviously. <clears throat> what do you do tonight? Um, I went to a lounge with um, that guy Simon who uh, is writing that article on me in Paper Magazine. And then his girlfriend showed up with a baggie. Oh, I love when people show up with baggies. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you text me? I was just sitting at home doing nothing, waiting for you. I'm 
sorry, I just... Just didn't think about it. It was a work thing. I get it. You don't want you to be seen with me. You're like... making mountains out of molehills. It's just like he just wanted to talk to me more about the article, that's all. Getting you drunk and high will definitely give him more for the article. It wasn't like that, okay? No? No. See what happens when your defenses are down? You want me to do what? Marry Rosa, which are the exact words I used the first time. What's the matter with you? Sorry, my estranged mother has suddenly reappeared in my life and has asked me to marry my ex-landlady for a green card. So excuse me if I'm a little taken aback. Rough night? I had trouble sleeping, yes. My name is Adela Pilar del Rosario Rafaela Martinez de Rivero. My real name is Adela Pilar del Rosario Rafaela Martinez de Rivero. I started using Rosa when I came to the States with Julio Cesar, whom you know as Carlos. Your husband who left you? I mean, si, sí, pero no, he's not my husband and he didn't leave me. I mean, he left me, pero only after I reported him to the authorities for running cocaine out of our apartment. We were part of a movement back in Bolivia. We didn't like the way the government ran things, so we thought we could change that. Is this for real? Is this like a real thing? Let her finish, Ryan. You have no authority here. <clears throat> Continue, Rosa. My brother Pedro was everything to me. We were close. As we grew up, our ideas of the world evolved. He joined one side, I joined another. When he was killed, I suddenly forgot what I was fighting for. That's when she turned that Julio Carlos into the feds. But the son of a bitch fled before the authorities could catch up with him. Now he's back in Bolivia, and my visa is about to expire. I cannot go back to Bolivia. Do you understand? Just so we're clear on the facts, you used to run cocaine out of your apartment to fund Bolivian terrorism. That's she's basically not, what we're talking about. That, but that's what we're talking about. Like she uh, running cocaine to fund, like just. Okay, pause. How did you weasel your way into all of this, Mom? I'm dying to know. I was looking for you. Oh, did you hear that, Rosa? She was looking for me. I, yes, I went to your old apartment looking for you. Look, Rosa, this is very compelling, but I am trying to simplify my life right now. I'm not complicated. I need some coffee. Ugh. Oh, I didn't know you had company. It's such a good shake. It's like really, it's like really chocolatey. Queens and addicts, fragile hearts. Queens and addicts, fragile hearts.